Libra Land 1010, welcome everyone. This is going to be who is your next partner? Singles, love reading, who is your next partner, Libra? I was going to do a pick a card for this, but my guides were like, just start the camera, and if it resonates for people, it resonates. So, who is your next partner, Libra? I've pre-shuffled and I do have a King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to shuffle three more times. Six and the Seven of Pentacles there, Libra. Six here, seven here. It's a synchronicity. They've been working to heal. <clears throat> through third-party heartbreak. Libra, who is your next partner? I have the power of love. Okay, two of wands out. This person is interested in bringing more spirituality into their physical life, into their matrix. In this two of wands card, Libra, it shows them balancing the physical the fireball with the invisible, what we cannot see with our physical eyes, spirit. This is about bringing more spirit into your physical. <clears throat> He's receiving, I feel, with the left, and yet he's concentrating on the fireball, on what he is manifesting. So your person is conscious, concentrating on what they're manifesting right now. And they're trying to bring more spirituality into their life. Once again, healing from third-party heartbreak for sure with the Three of Swords at the bottom. Who is Libra's next partner? Who is Libra's next partner? Wow. Wow. <clears throat> they're leaders. They work very hard. Um, many of them are up on stage somehow. Speakers, teachers, I just heard philanthropists, um, mentors, coaches, performers, stars, people that others look up to is what I see in this Six of Wands card. And then the Eight of Pentacles out next. They're working very hard. Whatever they do for money, they're good at it. And they enjoy what they do for money. This person is smiling while they pound out the Pentacles. They're, they have a little smirk. Oh, I just heard they're thinking about getting off work. And coming home to Libra. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Libra. Wow! Four of wands at the bottom. I tell no lies. This is your person. This is your life partner, Libra. 11-11. I'll just say that, Libra. 11-11. Who is your next partner, Libra? Wow. For many of you, masculine Librans, your next person is an empress. Okay? Femme Librans, your person knows you are the empress. <laughs> you embody all the queens, my dear. My beautiful empresses, you stand out from the crowd. The five of wands. Your person knows that you're not with um, the conflict or the competition. You'll shut that down really quick. Empress mode, empress energy. Or this could be Libra and masculines, your empress. They stand out from the crowd. They're not with the, the negative energy. Any fighting or bickering. Anything of lower vibration here with the five of wands, the empress is like, 
she just turns her back to it like somebody tries to call the empress's celly and is like empress did you hear about blah 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 blah, blah. and empress is like what i'm I, i'm in i'm in my greenhouse i can't hear you the reception sucks out here talk to you later bye <laughs> Now, let me get back to what I was doing. Fairies, butterflies, woodland creatures. My dear. <laughs> like, it, it's totally different level. You and your person, Libra. They're aware of this. <clears throat> Yeah, I just heard compete for what? Compete for what? Knight of Swords. Someone is ready to rush in, Libra. Either you are ready to rush in or someone else is getting ready to rush in and communicate with this Knight of Swords. This is also my Archangel Michael card. Nine of Cups. They see you as having your table set. You could be very prosperous around this holiday season, okay? I don't see Librans wanting for much this year. In all actuality, I see you being very blessed and your wishes coming to fruition. Nine of Cups at the bottom, Libra. Your person sees you in this energy, single, successful, cheers. Who is Libra's next partner? Who is Libra's next partner? So your next partner could be a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, we have the Judgment card here. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. You and your person, Libra, had your fair share of trials and tribulations. I believe your person is still being tested at the very moment. I think you've already passed your tests. You two could also also share the same guide. This shows a teacher standing up and there's four students sitting down taking a test. I think this is your person still being spiritually tested at the moment, Libra. This is your Ace of Pentacles. Winter time, Libra. Something special about this winter for Libra. Tell me more. Tell me more. Who is your next partner, Libra? Who is your next partner, Libra? They really don't want to tell me much. We have a page of wands. This is someone giving a message. Maybe your person has already tried to communicate with you, but it, they felt it was premature or they were immature. The world at the bottom. There could be distance between you and your person. You could live opposite sides of the world. I mean, hours away from each other. <clears throat> Who 
Who is your next partner? Libra. Who is Libra's next partner? <laughs> Seeing you in this Three of Cups, celebrating with a few of your real ones, Libra, is putting this person in confusion with the Eight of Swords. They could be stuck in something. I don't know, a marriage, um, another relationship, a situationship. That's what I see with that Eight of Swords. You're celebrating, though, with that Three of Cups, Libra. Ace of Pentacles, yes, Libra, for you. Two of Swords. You're going to have to use your spiritual sight to make this decision. Maybe you'll have a choice between two coming up for your next partner. Either way, you're blessed this winter. Ace of Pentacles. Successful in keeping the ogres at bay. See the ogre? <laughs> He's on the other side of the wall. He can no longer come into Libra's garden to play. Ogres, no longer welcome. No trespassing, says Libra land. <laughs> No trespassing <laughs> to the ogres. Something comes so easy to you, you can do it without even looking, Libra. You don't even need your physical sight for something. You're so good at it. And because of that, it's bringing you in the Ace of Pentacles. A new fortune. I just heard welcome to the Fortune 500. <laughs> yeah. Two of Swords. Oh, wow. There's someone that's been hanging around or hanging back. For a very, very long time, Libra, with this hanged man. Pisces, okay. But I'm feeling like, regardless, this person is trying to turn their life around. And you're going to have to make a decision between someone that you might have wanted in your past, but they never stepped up to the plate yeah or this new king of pentacles energy what's it gonna be libra i didn't know the king of pentacles was behind the hanged man but here we go these are two separate energies the hanged man it's finally like making sense to me because the hangman has been coming out for libra for a while like it started out as like a, a judas message um 13 blah 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 but no He's been hanging back, watching you, Libra, or this energy, male, female, no matter. They've been hanging back, watching you, Libra, whereas this King of Pentacles energy is new. I'm hearing fresh, new. <clears throat> Get some water. Tell me more. Can you tell me more about this King of Pence? The Tower. The Queen of Pentacles just flew out with a bunch of cards. This is your counterpart, Libra. 
And this King of Pentacles, this newbie, this new love, this new person, just recently went through a tower. I'm talking like recent, within the past few weeks, definitely the past few months, but I'm talking like recent, big shakeup, big shift. They couldn't control this either. They felt powerless. And for the king of pence to feel powerless really hurt their heart. Because whatever this tower moment was for this king of pentacles, it involved their heart. But the divine took control. Something has majorly shifted for this king of pentacles, Libra. The hanged man. Tell me more. The hanged one. Tell me more. Knight of Pentacles. Yep, he's been so slow. Oh my gosh. This hanged one has been hanging back just watching Libra. The slowest knight in the deck. The Knight of Pentacles. With the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, Libra, they are so attracted to you and they want to create a very passionate new beginning. They feel you are their person. 11, 11. They feel you are their person. Now they may be ready for higher commitment. Where in the past, they just stayed kind of in the shadows, just focused on their money. I just heard a, a low-key player or playerette. This person had a lot of burden, though, in their life that they didn't show to everyone or tell you about. This hanged man had a lot of burden, Ten of Wands. A lot of burdens to bear. Can you tell me anything else about the King of Pentacles and Libra? They're being strong right now. Wow. They're having to fight temptation, this King of Pentacles. They're really having to fight demons and slay dragons. Not good dragons, dark dragons. They see you as this pillar of strength that you could tame their demon, their daemon. Oh my gosh, wow. This king of pentacles feels that you could tame their dragon, Libra, with the dark lord, the devil card, and the strength. They're also having to fight off dark energies that they're feeling right now because of this tower moment that just happened. They look towards you as this beautiful, strong pillar of strength. Or you masculine Libras are having to fight temptation and you see your person this way. In the strength card. Maybe you're watching them fight demons. But yeah, feminine Librans, I believe this King of Pentacles is having to fight temptation right now, <clears throat> but they see you as having the ability to tame their dragon. Okay. What's their next move towards Libra, if any? Let's ask the power of love. Activation cards. King of Pentacles. What's the next move for the King of Pentacles?
the next move for the King of Pentacles? Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. They're really trying to remain at a decent vibration so they can match you energetically, Libra. But we have present. When they speak with you, they want to be fully engaged and present. Every moment spent with you feels like a treasure, Libra, is what I'm hearing. And this person wants to be fully present in all these moments. Wow, so they can remember forever. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And they see you as being like uber friendly and kind because we have friendliness and kindness here. Or they're going to be, this King of Pentacles is going to be very, very friendly and show you extreme kindness, Libra. How about the hanged one, the hanged man? What's their next move with Libra? The hanged one? Integrity. Yeah, they have, I just heard, they have some explaining to do. Integrity. They know they haven't displayed complete integrity. Libra is what I'm hearing. And they see you as being very truthful and honest. And you have an ability to manifest love. Harmony. Yeah. They know that this connection with you would be so harmonious. Oh, my Libra. Okay. Let's ask the energy oracle. <laughs> What's the future for Libra and the hanged one? I know, free will. Spirit's like, ah, that's going to that's going to change. That's going to depend. And I heard free will. Wow. <laughs> the world. Man holding a coin. I believe this hanged man. Either has some type of money or they've come into success. And they may want to travel or see you. With the world card and man holding a coin. Oh, I just heard they're trying to appear um, more with it than they than they really are. Oh no, spirit! I just heard check their credit score. <laughs> spirit, you know, it's not all about that. But they're saying he's, he's, he's fronting. He's fronting. Like he's trying, this man holding a coin looks like the king of Pence to me, right? But it's man holding a coin. It's not king of pentacles. I'm hearing Pharrell. I'm fronting, babe. <laughs> <clears throat> this king of pentacles sees you as being an intellectual. Ah, oh, this king of pentacles has a broken heart. Currently. Libra. They're grieving. Whatever happened with this tower and this king of pentacles. They're currently, um, their heart is on the mend. Wow, man holding a heart here, but they want to offer their mended heart 
to Libra. So the hanged one is kind of fronting on the financial aspects, man holding a coin. He could have gotten this money fast and it'll go just as fast as he got it, right? Where this king of pentacles is a true king of pentacles. But this individual recently went through a very dramatic shift with the tower. And they are broken hearted, but they're trying to mend their heart because they see you as being um, the counterpart to their heart. Man holding a heart. Wow, Libra. I'm going to leave this reading here. I'm glad I recorded it. Much love to all my Librans. Stay balanced, stay blessed. If this reading did provide you with some insight and you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Help me reach 10K before the end of 2021. If I do, I'm going to do a New Year's Eve live and give free readings on the live chat. Okay. All right, Libra. Till next time. Peace.